if you're a student of prophecy, you know that when speaking of the popes or heads of the beast power in Rome, Revelation 13, 1 clearly says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Now, there are two ways that the Bible defines blasphemy. One is when a man calls himself a God, and the other is when that man claims to have the power to forgive sin. This also means if you declare a man to be a God, you blaspheme as well. But first and foremost, notice how Jesus speaks of his Father in heaven as he is praying right before he is arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. In John chapter 17, verse 11, he says, And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. And by the way, that one verse is the only verse in the entire Bible that the term Holy Father is used. This easily confirms this is a title reserved only for our Heavenly Father, who we know is a God. Yet every news anchor, every politician, every Hollywood star, every Catholic priest, as well as all Catholics and even non-Catholics alike, use that term, Holy Father, when speaking of the Pope. And why do people blaspheme like this? Well, it's because, as prophesied, the man of sin in Rome has demanded he be declared another God on earth since day one. Here are just a few of many quotes documenting this as fact. I suggest you pause the video and check these out. Of course, there are but a few quotes of the popes here proving that they believe they are actually God on earth. And I have many more on my Words of a Beast page. You also might want to take a look at this section on my Characteristics of Antichrist page for more info on why the popes are actually doing this. The other definition of blasphemy is also found embraced by the popes of Rome. And you can see this when you look at their doctrine regarding the confessional. As we saw earlier, according to the Bible, claiming to have the power to forgive men's sins is also an open and obvious sign the one proclaiming such power is in fact blaspheming and antichrist. Most know all about the confessional of the Roman Catholic Church, but because the popes and the prelates never show the people the Bible verses proving the confessional is a blasphemous doctrine, most don't know how dangerous this all is. But to remove all doubt that the Roman Church does in fact declare they have this power that Scripture says is blasphemous to even assume such power, notice how they actually admit this in writing. This judicial authority will even include the power to forgive sin. And the next quote says, And God himself is obliged to abide by the judgment of his priest and either not to pardon or to pardon, according as they refuse to give absolution, provided the penitent is capable of it. In other words, if the priest says you're forgiven, then God has to obey the priest, is what he's saying here. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.